welcome to an in-depth look at some of the key features of Sherlock Taxi. Looking to increase app bookings, auto allocation, or just have the opportunity to commission bespoke development? Keep watching to find out more. Sherlock Taxi is a vast and comprehensive taxi dispatch solution which includes configurable booking screens, award-winning automated dispatch, customer and driver apps, integrated driver and vehicle management and client invoicing. Today we will look at the booking and dispatch process and show you the workflow for this on the customer and driver app. Log in to take a booking. The booking screen is customizable to enable quick and accurate bookings and dispatch. Under the job management screen, click to enter a new booking. Relevant customer profiles, notes and alerts are associated to account names. Customers are profiled based on their saved favourite addresses and journey history. Customer accounts can be created to speed up the booking process. You can then enter the pick up and drop off address in part or full as all addresses will be verified by GPS. Alternatively, choose from the drop down menu which stores previous addresses. The address search function is fully integrated with Google Maps and, if you are based in the UK, you can use the Royal Mail postcode database if you choose. Address search uses latitude and longitude information to give the most precise location information. Once the addresses have been entered, you will get a real-time dynamic quote as well as response and journey times. So now that you've input your booking, how does the auto allocator decide which driver is best suited to do the job? After a booking confirmation is made, the allocator will begin assessing all vehicles within a certain area of the pickup address. As the allocator settings are completely configurable, allocation is tailored to individual business needs. The system will start by looking at the nearest 10 cars to the pickup according to real road distance. Incompatible cars are discarded from the selection process. Once the allocator has identified the nearest cars which are suitable, the best vehicle for the passenger is then selected. This is where it gets really clever. The system won't consider the job in isolation. It will check all current bookings to make sure the best decision is made based on the spread of the whole fleet to drive up efficiency. Sherlock identifies the shortest waiting times and makes sure that these are assigned to priority customers based on customer grade setting. The job is allocated and the passenger automatically receives a notification to let them know that the driver is on their way. Sherlock continues to monitor the job and if any problems can be foreseen such as the driver running late, an alert is raised on the controller screen to notify the passenger. Now let's look at making a booking via the customer app and the workflow for the passenger and driver once the job is allocated. Log in via a personal profile or corporate profile if applicable. The default screen that the passenger sees is a map of their current location with different service types available at the top of the screen. The passenger can scroll through the service types and choose their vehicle. After a vehicle has been selected, the passenger enters their pickup and drop-off addresses. For convenience, recent locations are available to select with one tap in the bottom half of the screen. You can also star locations that you want to be saved as a favourite. With the addresses chosen, the passenger can now choose a payment type. In this example, credit card is a selected payment method and you can see how easy it is to choose from a previously stored card or add new card details. Under the options menu, passengers then make special requests such as driver notes, meet me at the main entrance or meet and assist for passengers who may need a bit of support. You can then choose to pre-book the car for a later time or date or make an immediate booking. A final booking summary screen is shown after you make the final booking confirmation. Here we can see the customer and driver app simultaneously for the job that has been allocated. There is a countdown timer which shows the length of time the driver has to accept the job. The driver accepts the job and is shown in the job detail screen. It is configurable so it's up to you what you want to display. The customer app shows a driver photo and the vehicle details to look out for. The driver can select show map to get Google Maps sat now for directions to the pickup address. The status on the customer app will change from booked to on way. 
The driver app is fully integrated with Google Maps to offer real-time traffic updates. The customer can also track the driver's movements in the passenger app. When the driver reaches the drop-off address, he or she has four options to choose from to complete the job. If they are finishing their shift, click Finish and Going Home and the allocator will look for a job that is going in the direction of their home address. The customer has several options once the job is completed including marking the route as a favourite, rating the driver or providing driver feedback. Finally, let's have a quick look at some of the other key features of the apps. In the customer app, passengers can click on the history tab in the top right hand corner of the app to view past completed journeys. Passengers can also click on the ellipsis icon in the bottom right hand corner of the app for more options including the ability to record any lost property. The driver app also has lots of interesting features. Drivers have a chat function which allows them to communicate directly with the office without needing to call and block phone lines. The apps have push notifications. GPS enabled prompts are used to encourage drivers to change their statuses. Thanks for watching. Sherlock Taxi is made by Hallmont Technology, suppliers to the world's largest transport companies.